Hey everybody, the Bonga's back. Welcome to part 9 of Let's Play Shovel Knight, brought to you by GameAnyone.com. Yes, I know I was going to go back to Propeller Knight, however, apparently, when I was looking at the comments on previous episodes, like part 1 for instance, turns out I missed this uh, music sheet around here. I should have known that because that wall did jut out a bit. And I believe you can get another music sheet if you get a really high score in this game. I think you have to get at least 200 or more. So I had to try to get at least more than my previous score, which is 114 points. Can I do it? Let's find out! Now with shots like that, apparently. So let's see if I can do better, now that I have a good understanding of how this game works. Definitely put top priority on these, uh, flashing bottles, because, you know, they do split up. There. Obviously, I'm doing much better than before. Look, I beat my high score already. How about that? Okay, 156. Oh, juggler, nice! Apparently that was just enough. Maybe 150 was the score I needed to beat? Okay, fair enough. I, I, I accept that. And I'm still not gonna buy that last magic upgrade yet. Because personally, I don't see it necessary. I'll hand him that music sheet later. Well, music sheets. That being said, I still like to go here first. Okay, this looks dangerous enough. Oh, they're not gonna make it easy on ya. Oh yeah, you get like a supercharge right away, because remember, I have this armor. Just by doing two downward stabs on enemies twice in a row, that's how it works. Okay, so I gotta get used to this part. This may not be easy, because I could mistime that pretty easily. Music sounds pretty nice, I mean, for like an airship level. Okay! Apparently it, it splits up, like, directly above me. Rather than just a fixed distance. Ha, I knew there'd be a passage there. Sometimes you just gotta investigate. I really should have filled those up. I really should have. Maybe I'll find, like, a trouble here? Yes, I do. That's not the one I wanted. Is it always gonna be I Core Fortune? I think it is. Because I've never seen it give me anything else. Oh, well, I can't help me in a tough find. Like if I want to get some gems, but I don't want to go on any spikes. Damn it, I forgot about that attack. There, you're dead. Now you can leave me alone. Sure, let's do this. Ooh, even more gems. Quite happy. Um, this kind of enemy doesn't. Ooh, that was a really nice gem hidden there. Uh, it seems like a waste, but sure. It saves me a little bit of travel time. No, no, no! Oh, wow! The one place he needed to hit me! And it was right over to a pit! You son of a biscuit! Oh, I thought there'd be like a hidden passage over there. 
I don't want to hit you like right next to that secret passage, because what if I break it? Well, at least I got all my money back. Doesn't mean I'm proud of the outcome of how this came to be in the first place, I mean to say. Oh well, sometimes you win some, you lose some. Could've been a lot worse, actually. Someone tells me I need to use that cannonball to get up here to these gems. Good thing I still had the supercharge. <laughs> uh oh. If I do the, like the uh, downward stab on those, I'm probably gonna hit those spikes. So I should do it like this. I'm on to you, enemies. Oh, let me use this. Yeah, that should knock them both down. Yeah, I think I should have thought this one through. Ugh. This is not an easy level. Okay. I see what I need to do. I'm so much in the way, it's hard to see. That part was not a problem. Mid boss! It's an actual airship within an airship! Can I hit those bombs back at him? Yes, I can. That's actually a pretty cool way to do things. Use our own bombs against them. There! This game really tries to reinvent itself, like, one bit at a time. Can't go to the left. So if there was a game that I could easily recommend, it's definitely this one. For obvious reasons, I'm just having a lot of fun. Isn't that what gaming's supposed to be about? Like, having fun? Exactly. Alright. Oh, well, I didn't really need that meat. So I was already at full health, but I'll grab it anyway, because I like chicken. That's probably turkey. Yeah, there we go. There's gotta be a way I can get there. Uh, can I, like, go way down this? I drop down, like very far down. Let's say if I try this. There! I just needed enough momentum to get that. Oof, this part could be scary. This could like blow me into the spikes. And that fan could actually make my jump lower than it needs to be. Alright, let's see what relic you have for me. Soar through the sky blade first. A power dagger? Sure. Soar through the sky blade first. Now you can reach all sorts of places. Ooh. How many places to be exact? That's cool. So it pretty much just gives me like a forward dash in midair. Like so, yeah, I like this. I mean, that's pretty similar to like the dust knuckles. Ah, music sheet. I don't trust you. You're gonna die. As I screw things up, I got this. Oh, that's gonna sink! Perfect. Oh, I 
to send me back here. Okay, we, now we can go back up. Good thing these enemies respawn. Okay, I missed. I totally botched that. Oh, they stay electrocuted for like a long time. And then they unelectrocute pretty... Like the... When they're unelectrocuted, it's for a very short time. Uh, I'll just take that hit. I would like to destroy that enemy. Yup, I thought so. They wouldn't just have it there in an abs absolutely asinine spot for no reason. Like, there definitely had to be something up. Yeah, monies! Give me the monies! I need some better than the monies! And I would not be clean because that's all gems. It's not liquid or soap or anything. If anything, I just feel even dirtier. But I'd be dirtier with monies. That's a risk I'm willing to take. Oh, jeez. You just came back. Okay, does this thing just keep respawning? Uh, should I go for this one? I'll go for that one, but I'll just leave that other one alone. Oh, auto scroll! I don't know how I feel about this. Well, if I need a bit of a lift, I got that. I'm a bit worried that I'm gonna go too far to the right. Oh, that's a stone there. I need to destroy that. I made it. Man, this really isn't an easy level. Oh, these fans actually stop. Fair enough. Ah, spikes, I don't like that. Eh, careful, yes. Could not have done that any better. Maybe I could have, but who cares, really? This is not like a skills competition. Oh, that was close. Oh, wow, gee, I wonder if there is like a secret by that statue. Day. Wait, that was an enemy! Oh, I tried to recover. Well, could have been worse. I could have died. I was trying to use that uh, dagger to, like, uh, get back into it. Didn't exactly pan out the way I wanted it to. Or fan out, judging by this level itself. I wonder if I can just use this. That was actually a better way to do this. Just use the flare wand. <laughs> Alright, now let's continue. Still at another checkpoint. It's not the last one, I should believe. Okay. I don't know how I feel about this part. go too far up. Oh, dear. That was interesting, to say the very least. Oh, God! Just throw everything at me! I am, like, at the mercy of the wind.
The enemies are not affected, though. Uh, this level is scary. Okay, I made it through that part safely. Is that the last of the wind? It should be. Because I can't imagine it getting any tougher. Come to think of it, it's been a while since I actually died in this level. That's a close call, though. That I'm not denying. Okay, those aren't enemies. Yep, so the boss is here. I'm not talking about Bruce Springsteen either, but I did need this health. Oh, okay, pits on each side. I have a bad feeling about this. Ah, my petite blue friend. Actually, I'm gray. The sunset. She is beautiful, no? Get down here and face me, you gyroscopic jester. Oh, so rude. My crew, they were not hospitable? My ship. It was not magnificent? I'm not here to be entertained. I must reach the Tower of Fate. All business, no pleasure. Such a shame. Very well, then. On guard! I should definitely use a different relic other than, well, this. Uh... Yeah. Yeah, I did a nice bit of damage there. That shoots me, doesn't it? Oh, it creates more pits! That definitely makes me feel so much better. Oh, not just that, but like, the cannonballs were continuous. Was that a rose? What do you like, tuxedo mask and gyroman armor? What the hell? So I would admit that would make for the best Sailor Moon Mega Man crossover ever. Eh, <sighs> time for me to go to sleep and dream of Sailor Moon Mega Man crossovers. Let's continue on here. Okay, I'm back. I apologize for that abrupt interruption. So, why don't we actually just head back to the village and return these notes? Or sheets, rather. Yep, four music sheets. The spin controller. Never take a gig on an airship. They made me sleep in the cargo bay. Rubbish! You're lucky they actually made you wake up at all. <laughs> Alright, so I guess I will buy that magic upgrade. Uh, let's see, apparently that was the last bit. Alright, so what else can I do? I suppose I can go shopping for more armor. I don't want to buy too much, though. I have a feeling I'll have to come back here later once I have someone to interact with. You would think I could go in here, but apparently you can't. Okay, so I could probably much buy all these if I wanted to. Uh, let me buy the Conjurer's Coat for 4,000. But I don't really want to keep it. If anything, I just want to keep the Dynamo Mail. I'm only buying it for the sake of just saying that I bought it. A scout saw there, blah 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 blah. Yeah, I'm equipped. Maybe there's more to this area later on. Like, I bet you once we go beyond here, you don't go straight to the tower. Or maybe you do. Either way, I do want to stop the video right here, and then in the next episode, why don't we go to the stranded ship? Goodbye, everyone. Thanks for watching.